I have to apologize for the tardiness of this video. Last night, after watching this game, I had to be rushed to the hospital, having suffered an aneurysm on account of Dan's wager. What are you doing? There's no reason to let Choi on back in. He's got 200. You've got Lenny crushed here. The best thing you can do is just wager to get the victory in most circumstances and play for more money tomorrow. Instead, Dan went for everything but a dollar. So he's gonna get my first Clavin new color wager, the red text on white background. Congratulations, Dan. That is the infamous Damien Henry approach, which is just pointless. What should Dan have wagered? Okay. If Lenny doubles up, he's going to have 15-2. That means that Dan's going to have to wager 1400 If he's wrong with that wager, he'll be left with 12400 So, at a bare minimum, Lenny's going to need to wager 4800 Let's assume that Lenny is going to play properly and that he does at least this 4800 amount. If Dan misses, the only way that he can win is if Lenny also misses. So if Lenny misses with this wager, he'll have 2,800 left. So Dan should cap his wager at 11,000 at most. A lot of people would feel safer going for uh, whatever that difference is, 6,200 at most. Fine. At worst, do not let Troyon back into the game. If you really, really, really feel the need to go big, wager at most thirteen three ninety nine. Don't give Troyon a chance to win. Play against one opponent, not two. It's too early to start drinking again. Plus, I don't think it'll go with the uh, medication I have to take for this condition that I now have. Thanks a lot, Dan. Uh, try on. Great run. Three games. Nice total. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think that's going to make the TFC, but hey, you never know. We'll see what happens. Maybe Dan will start our carousel of champs once again, and everybody in the three-game range will be happy. Well, most of them anyway. <sighs> okay, I'm going to go take a nap or something and ice my head. We'll see you tomorrow on the final wager.